everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're having an issue with your Windows Ethernet based connection, but your Wi Fi connection works. So, this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I would suggest doing would be to see if you have a different Ethernet cable nearby and try swapping it out. You can have bad cables, they don't last forever, especially if they're in a high traffic area. You can step on it, the connections can weaken over time, there could be issues with, within the wire itself. So that's something you might want to take a look at, as well as if you're having issues with the port. So if you have a different Ethernet port, try plugging it into a different Ethernet port on your wall. See if that helps resolve the issue as well. So that's something to consider. And then once you've checked them out, those couple items and seen if those are the problem, a couple other things we can look into here as well would be to open up the search menu. Type in CMD, best match, or come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, you want to type in IP config followed by a space forward slash flush DNS. Flush DNS should all be one word attached to the forward slash out front. Hit enter on the keyboard. It should come back a Windows IP configuration successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. Now you want to type in NETSH space WinSock, W-I-N-S-O-C-K, space reset, once again, exactly how you see it on my screen, and hit enter. Should come back with successfully reset the WinSock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. At this point, close out of here and then restart your computer. And then hopefully this point or issue should have been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.